Hi everyone, my name is Tumi Etta and this is my first 3D tutorial class. Um, so based on the results from the poll that I shared in my last newsletter and in my last blog post, a lot of people actually chose to learn 3D, you know, how to make a 3D icon. So what we're going to be making today is a 3d battery you can use this as an icon you can use this as you know whatever you want to use it for in your projects but the reason why i chose the battery is because it's going to be easy for you to animate if you actually decide to do so all you have to do is just you know download different images and then you know if you're familiar with figma you can use the smart animate um options to make just a little animation and yeah that that's basically it so it's going to be simple shapes it's actually just going to be cylinder so this is going to be very easy for you to do now as i also mentioned in my last blog post or newsletter we'll be using nomad sculpt okay it's not free but it is cheap and trust me you know regret purchasing it and you can use it on your phone so it's light on system like you don't have to use a laptop or all of that you can use it on your tablet or your phone so this is this is going to be just easy for anybody to use or anybody to you know just just have fun with it basically so let's start so once you open nomad sculpt the sphere would show for you that's the first thing you'd see now we don't need this so click on the network icon it's just beside the folder icon on the, at the top and then you see the sphere and then just delete see the delete icon delete that's all okay so go back there again and then scroll down to primitive primitives are basically like just shapes because you know as i mentioned um 3d is made up of shapes i mean even if you're drawing 2d it's still shapes you're going to be looking at but over here we already have preset shapes we don't actually have to draw shapes and all of that so we have the box we have the sphere of the cylinder and we need to be using the cylinder for the battery so click on the cylinder okay so this is it's perfect beautiful cylinder i don't like the edges so i'm going to increase the vertices now what this does is just you know it makes it Makes it if you decide to um, sculpt or color or whatever, the more vertices you have, the easier it is. Of course, it's going to add more load to your system, but because we're just doing a simple battery, I mean, it's not going to be the load is not going to be massive. So, once you here, click on the mat icon. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's right next to the network icon that we, you know, clicked on before. And then we're going to increase the topology so it's 66 now okay it's just going to increase it till i'm satisfied with a position i think i'm going to do i'm going to do 200 because i don't want to do too much it's just enough to just get that nice edge okay so let me use the 204 all right so this is fine okay so i'm sorry for the background noise <laughs> i don't know why you find noise today <laughs> we're making sunday rice okay so yeah we have our cylinder now and i'm just going to name this to um let's say main battery body okay okay you can rename by just clicking on the pen icon okay so that's it now so i'm going to the next thing i'm going to do is put bars inside the cylinder but for you to see the bars right the cylinder has to be transparent okay i mean how else would you say it <laughs> so we're going to make this um cylinder transparent okay and you know transparent materials like plastic glass you know and all of that so we're going to make like let's say glass material so click on the material icon it's right next to the matte icon that we clicked on before okay it's the circle with the dots in it 
I was going to click on refraction. Refraction gives it like the glassy look, okay? The transparent look. So, refraction. That's it. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is this is nice, okay? This is good. And then we're going to validate it. Validating means you agree with the changes that you've made, okay? You're validating the changes that you've made, okay? So, that's it. And then we want cylinders inside. So what I'm going to do right now is clone this cylinder. We already have a perfect cylinder right here. So we're going to clone this cylinder. So on the left, you see clone. Okay. Just click on clone. And then once you click on clone, go to your right. Scroll down for the gizmo tool. You see gizmo tool right there. Okay. That's the gizmo tool. It's selected already. And I'm just going to reduce the height of this. There you go. So because it's the same material, I can't really see it. So I'm going to go back to the material icon, right? And then change this material to opaque. All right. So you can see now we can see the, the bar inside. Okay. I'm just going to try to be straight here. Try to be straight. So it's to make the straight spots. <laughs> Let's just use the easy way out right now. Just going to reduce the width so it's inside. Okay, and that is fine. Just lift it up a little bit. Yeah, still under. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can use your two fingers to rotate, use it to move, expand, zoom in, zoom out. And then you can use this. You can also use this on the right, this little square. Yeah. Okay, yes. I just remembered I haven't actually saved my project. So mine pops up automatically to remind me to save mine. And I'm just going to save this as battery icon. If this does not pop up for you, please click on the folder icon okay and then save as okay so save as you can also rename okay so i'm going to just reduce the width a little bit okay and then i'm going to clone i want to put like five six bars so i'm going to clone this again remember to clone just on your left you see clone just click the clone and then let's lift the clone up a little bit try to be straight and then do it again lift it up a little bit more do it again and again until you're satisfied with the number of bars you can do three bars you can do four bars you can do as much bars as you want okay i think i'm okay with this and you can name the you can actually name all of this let's name this first bar um second bar usually to be honest i don't name things <laughs> but i just going to make it easier for you to know where to make changes okay and the fifth bar that is it i think i'm going to move the fifth by a little bit okay no. first bar actually just play around with it okay so you're satisfied with the position okay so i think it's fine for me all right so usually like for batteries there's usually like a cylinder a small cylinder on top so we're going to make that cylinder right now so what i'm going to do is duplicate the main cylinder and then reduce the size okay and then put it on top so let's do that so remember click on the main cylinder okay and then the gizmo tool on your right panel right there lift the top okay so I'm going to reduce the size 
oh wait i forgot to clone <laughs> my bad so before you do that please clone again on the left there you see clone i'm going to lift it up okay and then reduce the size you can do whatever size you want because we all know how batteries look like if you're having trouble with picturing how a battery look like looks like just you know google images online so i think i'm okay with this i think i'm also going to add another bar at the bottom okay it's okay like this this is what we've basically made a battery but just to make it look a little bit more cool so i'm going to add another cylinder under so gizmo tool again clone again so we're just cloning cylinders nothing else and just moving it around okay and i'm just going to reduce this make it a little bit bigger okay so i think for now i am okay with this oh yeah so yes this is it hmm? just well we've gotten the basic shape already so now it's to paint it now the same right panel okay if you scroll up you'd see paint so just click on paint click on one of the bars so let me click on the first bar and let's change this to green you can use any color that you want now if you're familiar with figma you know to use the color wheel you know to use the um you know color picker and all of that okay you know to use you know to use you know of course you should not to use that and the difference obviously with figma is that you can see all these materials okay you see you can increase the roughness of the material okay you can increase the roughness you can increase the metalness or reduce the metalness all of this kind of like gives that it gives them it gives whatever object you are making it's material so if you want something plastic if you want something metal if you want something you know fabric if you want something um glassy whatever you want okay you can control it from here and from the material panel so um we're just going to go simple we're going to choose from the presets on top i'm going to choose the green one because that's fine and then just paint all okay so we chose the wrong cylinder so to undo just two fingers tap and then i'm just going to choose the first bar and then paint all go against the network icon choose the second bar paint all let me see if i can actually choose multiple and then paint all main battery body okay let's see all right so we can do that so you can actually select as many bars as you want and then paint all like i mentioned you can do different mm -hmm. colors you can choose the, you can make the fifth bar red okay you can just say oh i want it to be red okay okay mm -hmm. i want it to be red and that's red Mm -hmm. or i want the, the second the last one to be orange the yellow and then just make that yellow and paint all so you can do different colors you can actually do different colors okay all right so you can do different colors as you can do the sky is your limits or well, not your limits i don't know <laughs> So let's let's do some more painting i think i'm going to give the outside cylinder a little bit of metallic color to it so you select the, the main cylinder okay by just tapping on the main cylinder that's all and then let's give it something metallic so just increase the metalness then i'm going to make it shiny okay yeah make it shiny and just increase the metalness so you're satisfied with it okay just enough for 
the bars inside to show. So I think I'm okay with that. So I'm going to paint all and then maybe something gold but not so gold. You can use any color that you want, okay? So I think I'm going to go with this. Yeah, so I'm going to paint off. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for the one at the bottom. So, we're going to use the same color first of all. I'm not going to make this one transparent. I'm going to increase the metal nose a little bit and then increase the roughness. I want it to be a bit rough. Yeah, so that's fine. Then I want the same color for the one above. So, just paint off. <clears throat> so, I'm okay with this for now. Okay. So, like I said, you can use any color that you want. You can even play around with like the material, so you can increase the refraction, reduce the refraction, whatever, whatever you want. So I think I actually like this to be at the end. You need to make it a little bit glossy. Maybe increase the roughness. Uh, let's not increase the roughness. So you can even add absorption, like the light that enters. You can customize the color of it. Huh? Okay. Like I say, just play around with it. Okay. Just play around it. You can even you can even change the materials of the bars inside. So if for example you click the first bar, okay, and then go to the material icon and then you can say, Oh, I want it on lit. On lit would mean that light does not affect the bar okay whatever lights you have in the environment does not affect the bar so you can say oh i want everything to be on lit and then you get to get like this glowy this glowy thing to it okay all right where's person <laughs> so the cool thing up like if you want this to be really glowy let me try something you can turn on post processing okay and then turn on the bloom increase it and okay uh, if you play around with it there's a way to get like um there's a way to get it to glow maybe i'll show you so you just play around it so there's a way to get it to glow more okay let's not do that now so i prefer it the other way so i'm going to change it back to lids because we lit in the air see because <laughs> we lit all right, so this is fine. You have your basic shape. You have all of that, okay? So, yeah, that is it. Now, if you want to add lights, okay, you select the light icon just above there. So you can see add lights. Right now, there's lights because of the environment. The environment is on now what does this mean this is like an image so the image the light is in the image is the light is seen you know on our objects in fact the image is what is even right now in an environment so if you actually on you know remove that it is completely dark so now you can add lights okay so i'm going to add lights this is the first light this is actually called directional lights kind of like sun the moon and all of that i'm only going to go into details about light so can add we like to add to the sides behind just enough to not have like weird shadows so this one is the spotlight so i'm going to increase the cone angle Okay, maybe the intensity a little bit, the softness a little bit, and then you can also even customize the light by clicking on this three icon, this dot icon, sorry, 
I usually forget to do so because it's not it wasn't in the old version. So you can clone this. I want to clone this light and then move it to the other side. So it's both sides. Okay. Just imagine you're taking like like a photographer basically. Okay. Just imagine a photographer. That's that's the thing. That's actually the deal. So we have the light sides and then I won't put one behind. I think I'm going to use the spot lights for the behind one. But let me increase this light a little bit. Let me change the color. You can use any color that you want. Okay. So and then I'm going to add another light. You can add four lights actually with nomad sculpt before it is it used to be three lights but now they added more fortunately so i'm going to change this to spots lights no to points lights because points lights is actually i want something brighter so i'm going to increase the intensity of this spots light so that's i think spots light is doesn't really give shadows so I don't want it close to my this thing but I do like it on top so I'm going to leave it there so there we go and then now that we have like our basic I'm going to turn back on my environment so click on the light icon again and then environment so that's it I'm going to reduce this because the slides washing out the color that's the light on top so just play around with the lights okay you can even rotate the image so find a position that suits you light rotate I think I'm okay with this. You can actually also increase the exposure if you want a little bit more around lights. Okay, so I think I'm okay with this. So the next thing we're going to do is the insides of my bars are not really <laughs> arranged properly. So if you have an issue like that, you can just easily select the battery bar inside that you feel is not arranged properly. And I use the gizmo tool to, you know, just do small fits and see here and there. Yeah, so I think I'm okay with that. Maybe move this a little bit more. Uh -huh. okay so this is this is fine this is basic this is all right this is all right just play around with the shape find what suits you use the gizmo tool to expand reduce whatever so once you're done and you're satisfied with the shape that you have you can go to the post processing so this is it it's right next to the light icon okay and then just click on it all right so yeah you can actually select the strength of the ambient occlusion as like um i'd explain how much shadows and you know how much the light affects your objects and all of that you can add depth of field how much focus you want on your objects you can see i've already added far blur so things are far are blurred out so I'm just going to uh, remove that i don't think i need that I need to remove that you can add near blur okay you can add bloom if you want what do i want i don't know i need to leave the bloom on 
you can add tone mapping okay with tone mapping you can adjust the exposure you can adjust the contrast the saturation okay so just play around with it you can do color grading so like if you're a photographer <laughs> you have advantage here you can add coverage or like this are the this is like lines around the objects you can customize the color of the curvature and all of that you see as i added curvature you can see dark lines in between the bars okay so i like that but maybe i'm going to reduce <coughs> reduce it so it's not so sharp okay chromatic operation you know what that is the near grain sharpness so just play around with what suits you okay All right but now we have the basics now we have the basics you can hide the lights by just clicking on settings and then clicking on lights so we have a plane looking you can see our object in its full beauty okay so yeah all right so now that we have our basic shape uh, our basic battery we can take a picture of this now if you notice we have five bars right and if you want to animate this you can say oh um i'll take like maybe five pictures or six pictures but in each picture like a battery would be missing now if you smart animate that in figma for example you see it turns into like a really cool animation right so let's say let me reduce the gold on this side it's giving it's giving too much gold <laughs> Can you pick this color and just reduce the gold a little bit? Okay. Paint mm -hmm. on. So I guess I just play around with it, okay? All right, so now to save our picture, click on the settings icon again, and then just scroll down. You see render resolution. So it's giving like a clean, crisp look, you know, look to it. Just increase the resolution. Okay. And then let's save this. So it's saved this. Oh, sorry about that. So to save this, you just scroll down. Okay, first of all, <laughs> let us save this first of all. For us, save it as a picture. So click on save and then save battery. Because in case anything happens, at least we have like the last changes that we made available. So then just scroll down. You see render. Now um, you can choose to you can actually choose to make a transparent background you can also choose to change the color of this background if you want to change the color of this background because mine um my background is like this because you know i actually was working on something before and i used this background so if you want to change this background just click on the image icon okay and you see environment color environment is that picture that hdr picture i showed you before that we use that slide so if you click on the environment you see it gives you that environment that we use if you click on color you can actually customize the color that you want this battery to be in say oh i want it to be like in a white on a white background if you want it to be on a blue background if you want it to be on a blue background I'm sorry, my cat is being annoying right now. If you want to be on a blue background, if you want to be on any background, basically. But I'm just going to go with dark one. 
for now okay so i'm just going to go with the dark one for now so you can really see like the gold and all of that so go back to your folder icon scroll down you see render and then you can like i said you can click on transparent background it's just give you the transparent background so when you move it to figma you can actually don't you start using remove pg and all of that so just select transparent if you want show interface would be you know showing all these settings these panels and all of that we don't want that so i'm going to save the picture just press whatever resolution you want you can click on 4k and then i'm going to click on 720 and then just going to export the png okay and then just save this yeah, save image now you want to, like i said we want to make your animations just by removing different bars okay so you click on the network icon again i'm going to remove the first bar and then if i go back here and then 4k okay so my <laughs> So the higher the resolution, like the more load it puts on your system. So you see, because we saved our objects, right? So the same thing that we left is what we're seeing right now. I'm just going to hide the light icon again. And then let's just use one this time. Okay. Now we're going to hide the first, the first part. Okay, so you do this, you know, so many times, and then you know, remove, 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 and then just export all of this to Figma. Then use the smart animate, it's going to turn into a battery animation okay and you can change the position of this i am so sorry for the noise you can change the position of this if you want okay like you can change the color you can change the position whatever you want okay you can increase the okay this is the camera settings the camera icon so you can make changes here to you know you want some isometric you want something you know a focus and all of that all right so yeah so if this is useful to you please like subscribe share it would really motivate me and it would really like you know um push me to make more videos okay it's really push me to make more videos so please 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 support support your girl <laughs> and um yeah i hope you had fun with this and just let me know what you think this is my first tutorial so i mean i know it's not going to be perfect but if there's anything you feel like i should work on please let me know and also let me know the next thing you'd like to learn should i do more of this should i do something different you know and like i said it's just going to be like basic stuff for now so it's just uh, you know it's just some it's just stuff that's going to be easy you can see this is just cylinders we used only cylinders just to make this battery and if you you know um if you decide that okay i'm going to like look around on nomad sculpts and all of that you discover you can even like do more than this but this is just the basic shape of it okay so thank you again for watching this and i hope you have like an awesome week or weekend whenever you do decide to watch this thank you so much